Hi, welcome to the Certified Scrum Master Workshop. The Scrum Alliance Certified Scrum Master Certificate consists of three parts. First, you get familiar with the latest Scrum Guide and take a short online course on Scrum Alliance website. Next, you actively participate in a two-day certification workshop that includes exercises to help you to understand and apply. Finally, within 90 days of the workshop, you will take a written exam with 50 multiple choice questions. The first morning of the workshop is dedicated to the basics of, the, of agility and Scrum. It ensures that uh, the teams of the participants have a common foundation on which to build the Scrum Master competence. The theory for this part is familiar from the pre-study. We start by dividing participants into teams and practicing the use of time boxes. We consider the relationship between Scrum and Agility using the Agile Manifesto. We will continue with empirism and the culture of experimentation and advance to Scrum's overview, events, roles, and artifacts. Scrum Master is responsible for promoting and mentoring Scrum in the Scrum team and organization. As a change agent, he or she needs to understand the contribution of all Scrum roles. Next, we begin a long exercise, the outcome of which is to draw a web page uh, on a paper using Scrum. We start with the product vision and the definition done. At the end of the day, we will refine the product backlog for our simulation. Before starting the simulation, we go through the basics of facilitation, the theory of Scrum events and their application in the Scrum simulation. We draw the uh, website on paper. Our Scrum Masters practice the facilitation of sc sprint events. Uh, the, our sprint includes the, its planning, review and retrospective, as well as a daily Scrum. The second afternoon focuses on Agile leadership. We start with servant leadership and Scrum Masters working day. We practice coaching in pairs with exercises where we analyze real projects from the perspectives of the development team and the product owner. Finally, we consider the organizational change that results from the adoption of Scrum.